Hello Sagittarius, thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. This is your Zodiac Tarot reading for the week ahead or whenever you clicked on the title at the time it intrigued you. And we're going to start with a message from your angels, guides, guardians, shamans, ancestors. And if you would like some free cards pulled for yourself, I go live every Wednesday and Sunday night to do just that at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have you completing a cycle. This has brought abundance to you. There was a good harvest. It's brought you to balance. You have all four elements on your side ready to bring on whatever new challenges lie ahead. This tree looks like it was already planted. It's more or less an adolescent. So maybe the completion of this was just one of those stages of growth. We have the birds give you those messages from higher self, air energy. We have water energy that waters the tree as well as your emotions being well balanced. You're anchored in the earth. And we have fire here which is very purifying. We also have some colors of fall showing up. So I think what's going on is indicative of uh, the time that we're in now. We're about a month away from moving into the autumn season. We have lightning and the blade. So there's something that is coming to light dramatically. And this is something that your angels and guides are bringing to you, some type of enlightenment. You know, where it's dark and the lightning strikes, everything is lit up brilliantly. And it's almost like this is happening for you right at the right moment in order to unsheath this blade and cut what needs to be cut from your life. This also reminds me of a rocket. Sending that rocket off and hitting the bullseye. Unsheathing it right at the right moment. This really feels to me like an opportunity coming and it's like strike while the iron is hot the spread here we see balance rejoice and sacral chakra so rejoice and celebration beside the sacral chakra which is about sensuality sexuality uh desires some of you are getting married Some of you are receiving really, really good news and uh, you go out and celebrate with a mate and you know how that ends. Uh, we're, we have a nice balance here though. This is this looks to me like karmic rewards coming to you from ancestral karmic debts that were paid. The solar plexus with this balance underneath is the solar plexus, which is the I can energy of the uh, the chakras. And at the heart of your reading is harmony. This is about divine timing, divine guidance. Um, you could be dealing with a Gemini. But this is beautiful to see at the heart of a reading. Right beside it, it's awareness. So maybe that's what it is. The I can have this type of relationship. And you are becoming aware of who this is. For some of you who are already connected, you're going into manifestation mode. I can make this accomplishment this achievement in career or business. We have deception and envy. This could be you, but it's likely someone who is watching you and saying, Sagittarius has no right to be that happy or no right to have that opportunity. And oh gee, Sagittarius, it must have been luck. Why didn't it happen to me? But it doesn't have a lot to do with luck at all. We have the base chakra. They see you birthing something new, just breaking ground from a seed. The waiting game, waiting for that seed to pop up. Maybe somebody's waiting on you. If deception and envy, maybe if you know who this person is, who is deceptive, who is envious, 
uh, tendency to sabotage. Could be that you're waiting for an apology. To begin something new so you can get past this, whatever this was. Clarifying balance is my dogma card. Messenger of air. Some message coming in very quickly. More or less a cue that your karmic rewards are coming in. Because they're worthy of celebration. Yeah, rejoice in celebration because look, Ten of Pentacles. That's legacy building. That's having it all. That's a steady and nice flow of money. Definitely worth celebrating. And you know what? For some of you out there, maybe like an anniversary of something, of something that built into an you know empire. The world card, sacral chakra. There was an ending to something. Uh, but how beautiful a beginning of something passionate. Let's crack these cards. Ten of fire, laying down your burdens over whatever this was, this deception or envy or whatever it was, you're moving on to, you just want to get on with it. You don't want to dwell in the past. You don't want to dwell on what's happened. You just want to put that behind you and move forward. Solar plexus chakra is being clarified with the page of earth. Someone coming in with a stable offer for you. And I do, yeah, this could be love because it's right by the harmony card. This could be a gift coming in. A reward. Someone offering stability. Someone who wants to begin something with you in a, maybe project wise, something that can be accomplished, something that can be celebrated. Harmony is being clarified by the Queen of Air. Uh, Gemini? Two Gemini cards? Maybe the two of you together are cutting out what you don't need. And the sense I have for some of you, like you know, it, it's like moving. If you're relocating and you're you're going through your things and saying, okay, we got to send some of this stuff to the the charity, you know, just to cut it out. Um, the two of you deciding what it is that you want in your lives, you know, as far as a couple goes, and what you don't want. For some of you, you literally, literally uh, cut out a partner, gone through a breakup. Awareness. Wow. You are aware of those hopes, dreams, and wishes coming your way. Whatever's coming towards you, you're aware of it. If you're not aware of it yet, Sagittarius, you're about to be aware of what's coming towards you. This is also a card of healing and forgiveness. But the awareness is the magician, which is about action. Aquarius energy here. Deception and envy. Yeah. You broke somebody's heart or they broke yours. And they don't like seeing you move on. Base chakra is the sac uh, uh, Sagittarius card. Patience, temperance. Patiently waiting for that to pop out of the ground. It's like I said earlier, you, you, you are aware of what's coming towards you and being patient. Making the impossible possible. Finding that gold at the end of the rainbow. And the waiting game is clarified with temptation. So maybe the temptation is to move in a direction prematurely. Can you wait? Can you be patient? Well, Sagittarius, you know as well as I do that you can wait until the cows come home. I don't think anybody... Would be capable of awaiting you. Maybe the temptation. Is to make the first move. And you shouldn't. Mm. 
Maybe the waiting is the temptation to stay stuck in one spot. Because you see something coming. You're becoming aware of something that's coming towards you. What is the temptation? Ah, let's go back. Striking while the iron is hot. Waiting for that moment. But you're breaking habits here. And it could be why you either cut out a partner or you and your partner are deciding to cut out certain things. Somebody here, though, has made an impact on your life that was not anything less than painful. And that could be what you're cutting out of your life. Being patient for something new to be birthed. And the temptation may be not to wait for that moment. That moment of truth where you strike on the opportunity that comes up for you. It's coming towards you. All right, Sag. Let's ask the romance angels. And I am implementing a free tarot card reading into the membership area. You can use it as many times as you like, every single day, many times a day. It is there for the members to play with. To the questions that you may ask are about love or career or maybe a yes or no on a all systems go or no. But hopefully that will be up and running by the time you get this reading and you can enjoy it at the members area of the website. This could be the one. So this would be for those of you who are aware what's coming towards you. You're already aware of the romantic partner you seek and as you need reveal these innermost, the innermost self to each other. This bond deepens. You have known each other before. Past life relationship. This is, I think, is going to be monumental for you, Sagittarius. To, to, to meet someone that is a past life experience or to realize that who you're with might be that past life experience. Something is coming towards you. Let me know in the comment section how that resonates for you. And hit the like, please. And again, I go live every Wednesday and Sunday to pull free cards for you if you'd like to join us. Everything you need to know about the website and channel is in the description below. God bless you, Sagittarius, and we'll talk to you again soon, I hope. Bye-bye for now.